So, what is the nature of human geography? As studied in the earlier standard, you have come to know that the elements of physical geography are landforms, soils, climate, water, natural vegetation, and diverse flora and fauna. So, also, the elements of human geography lies in the building of houses, villages, cities, roads, rail networks, industries, farms, boats, items of our daily use, and all other elements of material culture have been created by human beings using the resources provided by the physical environment. Do you have any idea on naturalization of humans? Naturalization of humans mean to cease to view humans as special and to reintroduce humans into nature, to view them as part of nature, as one phenomenon of nature among others. From the period of the primitive world, Human beings are in a close relation with the nature. Their interaction with the natural environment gave rise to the fact that humans were greatly influenced by nature. The level of technology was very low and the stage of human social development was also primitive. This type of interaction between the human hurdles and forces of nature gave rise to the concept of environmental determinism. Environmental determinism aims at very low technological development where humans were to listen to the nature and was afraid of its uncertain phenomena. Humans used to worship nature for its fury and was dependent entirely upon the nature. The economic as well as the social development of the primitive people entirely depends upon the influence of their natural environment. If you have heard about the story of Bender, who lived in the forest, Abuj Mad of Central India, you will get to know that the forest was inhabited by a few people with three huts. People inhabit deep inside the forest and practice a typical form of primitive agriculture known as shifting cultivation. They worship the Loi Lub, the god of the Penda. Certain type of plants such as Gajhara and Puchla are used as commodities for exchange purpose in the Bata system. Thus, nature plays a powerful role and humans are the actors who act according to the direction of nature. It is nature that made people to discover and use fire and they got the idea of agriculture into their minds. For example, the friction in the forests that resulted into forest fires helped the people to discover fire. And the dispersal of seeds into the ground which results in the growth of a new plant under the influence of temperature and rainfall gave humans the idea of growing crops and to practice agriculture. 